Hello guys, Bailey Keo from the Arsenal way here and uh, about to make my way to the game, the second game of this season. We need to get a win after last week's disappointing result and look, I've heard I'm in the starting lineup today so hopefully stuff does change but we shall see a big win. We need a big win against Georgie WFC, we need to climb up the table but come on Argentina, let's get the W. It's going to be a big game for us and I think we'll get, I think we'll get over the line. I think uh, we're a bit more confident of course. First game was a bit rusty. Second game now we're ready to, to attack it by the head and uh, hoping for all three points. But let's go, let's see how this goes. <laughs> So we're back with more five-a-side action from the boys, Tom Canton and Bailey Keogh at the Arsenal way. Obviously representing Argentina in their five-a-side football league. Is that the moon in the background? Because that looks like something out of a sci-fi film. As do Tom and Bailey, to be honest. It's just passing it around nicely. A bit of a ping there. I always wonder what rules they're playing. It's like you ever played pool with people and then everyone plays it a different way, everyone's got different rules. Sometimes five aside football comes like that. Oh yeah, we're playing above head high and if it does go above head high, oh, what's the rule in terms of does it go to the opposition or is it a free kick or ay, ay, ay. Football should be football. Lovely little finish there. So interestingly enough, the Arsenal Way boys, Bailey and Tom on Argentina, playing in blue with their teammates. I'm sure their colleagues in Carefree Chelsea will particularly enjoy that. Ah, oh, that's poor from TC. That's poor. The opposition attacker really let him off there. Dispossessed very near to his goal. A lot of speculative shots coming from the opposition though. Lovely save from the keeper there. Saw it quite late actually, but moved across to make the save. Nice bit of footwork. Strictly come dancing. Great tackle though. Battle by the side. Both teams really struggling to hold on to the ball for longer than a few seconds here. Parson, who's that aiming for the heavens? And then need I say more? I don't think I even need to say who that was. But a lovely block there to redeem himself, TC. The ball has body in the way of it, and the second attempt, second bite of the apple, if you like, sails over the bar. Pass threaded through, marginally over. You can tell how windy it is by the net at the side just swaying in the corner of the camera. Obviously someone as lanky as Bailey in windy conditions like this, there's a slight chance he could be knocked over. So keep an eye out for that. I think in the first episode I referred to this as walking football. And just if you look at the pace of this game, you'll understand why. <laughs> Probably someone's granddad is watching this thinking there's still life in the old dog yet. Ooh, he did ever so well to bring the ball out on his left foot and just fire it in the bottom corner. Fantastic finish. Look at that battle going on in the corner. That's what we like to see, that passion, that fight, that aggression for the ball. Maybe the Arsenal players themselves can learn a thing or two from that. Nice little flick on. Is that me? 
Kept on Bailey there with a nice little finish. Surely not. It's certainly not the same one we saw in the Football Fun Day videos. Must be his identical twin brother that we didn't know exist or something. After those Football Fun Day videos, a lot of people saying that Bailey looks a bit like Eduardo. We'll have to know what you guys think in the comments. Like that. Oh, who's this with the, you know, ginger curly mop of hair there? It's a young David Moyes. <laughs> but it's a bit of an onslaught now. TC really getting tested in defence. Oh, what a finish that is. What a finish. The way he just found the corner. Just perfectly. The keeper had no chance. Just one touch. Bang. Oh, great passing move. Can David Moyes Jr. finish? No, it's over. I think he took a slight deflection, though. No. Obviously, no corners in six aside. If you play the normal way, because obviously I mentioned the disparity in rules earlier. Now we're seeing a lot of hands and hips. Hands and hips usually signifies one or two things. A teacher telling off a naughty school child. Or someone who's exhausted from physical activity. Oh, what a save. What a save. That was an outstretched shot from the striker. Keeper did well to palm it over. Wow, was that a penalty we're seeing or a free kick? It looks to be a penalty. Oh, that is a great strike. Maximal power. The bit of placement too. You know sometimes people are like, oh, do you go for power or do you go for placement? That one was a, it was a bit of the best of both worlds. Shout out Hannah Montana. You know, he placed it, but he made sure there was a lot behind it too. And in the interests of five or six aside rules being upheld, it was great to see just the one step and shot. None of this Jorginho Fandango business with the hop, skip, jump, triple jump. Decent attempt at a volley into the side netting though. On that note, very, very poor keeping there. It was quite a tame strike. The keeper just seemed a bit bamboozled by it, had his ankles broken, so to speak, and yeah, just trying to trickle past him there. Oh no, the floodgates have opened. Far, the keeper kicking the ball away in frustration. It's monsoon season for his defence. But yeah, let me know in the comments how you feel about all five side rules, to be honest, not just players being allowed into the D. Let me know what rules you play for five or six aside or even seven aside football. Keeper redeeming himself slightly there. And that's time. I just want you to let me know in the comments if there's any player you could compare TC to, any player you could compare Bailey to. Who would it be and why? Let's go for one player, generally speaking, in the football world, past the present, and one Arsenal player, past and present. The best one wins a prize. Not out of my pocket, though. <laughs>